This is a patient with wild Marcassani syndrome. He has ectopia lentis and a completely dislocated lens into the vitreous. Here I've placed my pars plane trocars and there's vitreous in the anterior chamber. So I'm cleaning this up. You can see the uh, crystalline lens uh, floating, uh, hanging by about three zonules here. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, support the lens with the light pipe. And uh, after I've done a vitrectomy to remove all the vitreous in this region, I'm going to switch to a vitfrag mode, which is a higher suction, slower cut rate. And uh, I'm going to use that to uh, emulsify or uh, vitrectomize this uh, lens, which has about 2 plus nucleosclerosis. Uh, I'm supporting the lens with light pipe and pressing it up against the back of the iris and trying to keep the uh, capsule bag basically intact so that I don't lose pieces into the posterior segment. So here I'm holding the lens uh, up against the back of the iris with the light pipe and basically taking my time and vitrectomizing this. Now I've sped this up uh, to give you a better idea of what this uh, really looks like, more of a global view of how this lens is handled. Um, and I'm trying to keep the capsular bag surrounding the nuclear material intact as I uh, vitrectomize this so pieces don't fall on back. And mostly I'm successful. Uh, at the very end here, uh, I'm almost at the end, I'm going to return this to about normal speed. You can see a couple of pieces do fall uh, in back as I finish uh, my uh, vitrectomy of the lens. I'll now do a little bit more cleanup anteriorly, remove these uh, air bubbles, and now we'll go back and complete the vitrectomy and remove these fragments that have fallen in back using the uh, posterior illumination system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a complete core vitrectomy now, removing all this vitreous um, so that I can safely remove these fragments uh, sitting on the uh, retina. So, now we can go ahead and aspirate, uh, bring these uh, fragments of lens material up, and using vitfrag mode, um, go ahead and uh, vitrectomize these uh, epinuclear or nuclear pieces. Um, so we're getting through all of this little particulate debris, uh, cleaning this up. And uh, here I'm just using a little aspiration because I'm very close to the retina. And now uh, a little bit more peripheral vitreous dissection will be carried out uh, to reduce the risk of uh, having any retina problems later on. And uh, once this uh, more peripheral dissection is completed, uh, removing the uh, peripheral vitreous, uh, we can move on to doing the Yamani intrascleral haptic fixation uh, of the new lens. Uh, the eye is marked with an Ashwin Argawal marker. Uh, the lens, a Zeiss 602, uh, CT Lucia is injected into the anterior chamber. Here I'm putting dispersive viscoelastic over the lens to protect the cornea. Uh, a 30 gauge needle is passed, creating a scleral tunnel. The uh, distal haptic is passed into the lumen of the uh, first uh, 30 gauge needle. We can now let go of the hub here and do the other side. This is a 30 gauge needle. The tunnel is about one to one and a half millimeters long here. And um, I'm going to use the tip of the needle to push the optic away so I can grab the haptic at the appropriate point. The easy insertion into the 30 gauge needle. Uh, both needles will be pulled out at the same time, which will rotate the lens. Um, and the needles are uh, thin enough that they'll hold the haptic as I uh, pull these out of the eye and the haptics will come with the needle. And uh, now I can melt each haptic tip. And these are not uh, large melts but just big enough to secure the haptic and the uh, scleral groove. We're going to push the haptics into the scleral groove on each side and uh, the lens centers uh, pretty nicely here. Uh, I'm now going to place a glaucose eye stent as this patient does have glaucoma. Um, here the stent is placed in Schlem's canal and released. Um, 
I'm now going to put my call in the anterior chamber to bring down the pupil. This patient already had a pre-existing peripheral iridotomy, so I did not need to do one. The uh, trocars are uh, carefully removed, and conjunctiva is brushed down over the scleral opening, and uh, the case is completed. Thank you for your attention.